Hey guys, welcome back to another Roblox tutorial, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a timer GUI. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Starter GUI, right click on that, and then insert an object, and then insert a screen GUI. Then we're going to right click on that, and insert an object, and insert a text label. You could also put an image label here if you want to make it your own custom image in the background, and then you could insert the text label into that, and then follow the same process. So, I'm just going to resize this a little bit. I'm going to set it to about 100 and 100. That will give us a nice square. Then I'll set this to 0.45. And that will put it nearly in the center. And then we'll go over here. I like it better without the border. So I'll just make the pixel size 0. And then I'll go here. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Set the transparency to maybe 0.3 and then set the text color to white. I'll also make the text size around 40 and then set that to 0. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and right click on our screen GUI and then insert a number value. This is going to be how long the um, timer will start at. So I'm going to go ahead and name this time and then I'm going to set this value to be 30 and this will be in seconds. So then the next thing we're going to do is right click right here on this text label, insert an object, and then insert a local script. So right here, we're going to go ahead and delete the print hello world, and then we're going to start our script. So the first thing I want to do is make a variable here, so local seconds. You can name this whatever you want, but I'll just put seconds to make it nice and easy. And then say local seconds equals script.parent parent dot time and that's just going to say hey seconds is going to be this value right here and then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and say script dot parent dot text equals seconds dot value so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a for loop so for i equals one comma seconds dot value do and then we'll have a wait, so it'll wait one second, and then we'll have seconds, oops, seconds dot value equals seconds dot value minus one. And this will take away one of the value from here every second. And now we have to make sure that the text label will update the text every time one is taken away. So we can just copy this part right here and paste it right below this. And then if we go ahead and hit play, you'll notice that it'll start counting down, and once it gets to the end, it'll stop. So that's it for this video, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and thanks for watching.